As Yogi Berra once said, baseball is 90% mental, the other half is physical. New technology may make this truer than ever. New York-based startup DeServo uses neuroimaging to understand the science behind decision-making in sports. Their technology is currently being used to evaluate baseball players based on how quickly their brains identify and react to pitches while at bat. Here to talk about the use of neuroimaging in sports is Jason Sherwin, co-founder and CEO of DeServo. Well, how does DeServo work? Well, what we do is, you see, we um, simulate the experience of hitting a baseball for baseball players. And that allows you to stimulate the nervous system of that player in a way that's tuned to their version of their expertise. So it's a video game. Mm -hmm. And so what that allows us to do is we tell the player, make a decision on this pitch. Is it a strike? Is it a ball? So that means that as the ball is coming to the plate, we can tell when they decide this pitch is a strike or this pitch is a ball. And how are you measuring their decision-making process? It's just a cap that's worn over the top of the head. And there are sensors that are pressed against the, against the scalp. EEG, electroencephalography, is something that's been around for years. Right. right? But the tricky part has been uh, decoding that data. And that's really where we're, we're coming in with our algorithms that allow us to track when that decision is made as the balls come into play in the case of baseball. So what does that teach you about the player? Some things that we've seen with the major league players we've worked with is that um, some guys just guess on pitches, right? They know that they're going to swing really early on a given pitch. Um, yeah, some guys just guess that they're going to take a pitch, right? Um, there are other players, though, with more fine uh, resolution in terms of when they make their decision as the ball is coming to the plate. And those are, in general, the players who do better on our, on our profiles because they're watching just a little bit more of the pitch in order to tune their decision as the ball is coming to them. Now, you know, you're talking about the, the finer resolution, but this is a ball that's coming at you at 90, maybe 100 miles an hour. Yep. Right? In, that is literally a split second. Yep. Where you have to decide on whether it's a ball or a strike, I mean, wh whether you're going to take the pitch or not. Right. And then somehow move your whole body, get the, the bat in the perfect position to make contact. Right. Well, we break it down in terms of the time. So you said 90 to 100 miles an hour. So that's about 450 to 400 milliseconds um, of time from release of the pitch until it gets to the plate, okay? And so... Less than half a second. Less than half a second, yeah. And in that time, you have to, the player has to decide, you know, first, is this thing going to kill me or not, right? <laughs> right? Then where is it going and whether I can hit it? What we're able to do by tracking when that decision is made as a function of time um, is break down that process in that 400 to 450 milliseconds. And that's where EEG is so important as opposed to another kind of neuroimaging technique like MRI, right? EEG has what's called very high temporal resolution. We're measuring on the order of 250 times a second what the electrical activity is. Okay, so say now I have the data, I am a, a hitter, I've learned this about myself, this is how I'm making these decisions. Can I improve right. that so, decision-making process? Can I take less time and make better decisions which might increase my accuracy. Right. Well, it may be actually that you have to take more time. Okay. Um, it may be, um, in some cases, you could have a, you could have a player who's uh, suffering. You know, you, you look at what's called, what we call their behavioral response, which is just their accuracy mm -hmm. and their response time. And you see that they have very quick responses, but also have very low accuracy, right? Sure. And so what we maybe want them to do is just wait a little while longer. But that's like, you know, like you quoted Yogi Berra at the beginning, you can't think and hit at the same time, right? Right. The last thing you want to do is tell a player to think when they're up at the plate. But what we aim to do with this kind of measurement tool is to subtly kind of train the nervous system to wait just a little bit longer on a pitch. Take another, um, the flip version where you want to make your decision sooner if you have very high accuracy, right? You could have very high accuracy, but your response times could also be very long, right? But there could be someone else out there who has the same accuracy, but their response times are shorter on the same pitch, right? Mm -hmm. So that means that this other guy who's making his decisions with the same accuracy but quicker, he's seeing something that this first guy isn't, right? So the question is then, how do you train his nervous system to look sooner in the pitch trajectory to make that decision? And there are different kinds of ways that you can manipulate, we think, the simulation um, in order to do that. All this in under half a second? Yeah. Is this something that a scout is going to know about and saying, listen, you know, hey kid, I, I think you got some potential, but I, I need you to put this cap on and play this video game for a while to help me see whether, you know, how efficient you are. Sports in general is a very self-selective process. You know, kids that are older and they're uh, kind of the older end of their class, 
they may be a little stronger than the kids on the lower end, right? So they may have more success early on. So you start getting this kind of like self-selective process where the kids who are better earlier continue on in the sport. Mm -hmm. But what I see as a huge potential here is the ability to scout players who are not even really playing baseball or may fall off sooner, right? And so you could find a player that you wouldn't, able, you wouldn't be able to find before and end, right? So you wouldn't know that that kid's a great hitter. All right, Jason mm -hmm. Sherwin. Uh from DeServo. Thanks so much for joining us. Definitely. Thank you.